Have you caught wind of the Sinking City 2 yet? It's like they took the original's creepy vibes and dialed it up to 11. Oh, totally, Kai. I heard it's going to be even more Lovecraftian and eerie. I mean, the first game had me checking under my bed for weeks. Right? The first one was just the appetizer. Now we're heading for a full course of supernatural mysteries and tentacle mayhem. My inner detective is already on edge. Speaking of mysteries, I'm stoked about the new detective mechanics they're adding. Like, apparently you can use psychic powers to unravel clues. My brain's gonna have a field day. Psychic powers, that's wild. And I read somewhere that the city itself is like a living, breathing entity full of secrets and dangers. Imagine getting chased by a building turned monster. Ha, huh, that would be something. I'm also curious about the new underwater sections. Exploring a submerged city filled with ancient horrors? Yes, please, sign me up for that nightmare. Totally, it's all about getting us to think different, see things from other angles, and with each reality looking and sounding unique, it's gonna be a blast just soaking it all in. You and your love for underwater horror, Kai. Just make sure you don't invite any fishy monsters over for tea, but seriously, the game's atmosphere is going to be off the charts, especially with the enhanced graphics. For sure. And the sound design, I bet it's going to be so spooky, we'll be hearing ghostly whispers in our sleep. Goodbye, peaceful nights. Oh, definitely. And I'm eager to see how our choices in the game will affect the storyline. It's like we're weaving our own horror tale with multiple endings to uncover. The ultimate choose-your-own-adventure, but with more dread and fewer happy endings. Can't wait to dive in and see how long I last before running for the hills. <sighs> you and me both, Lila. The Sinking City 2 is going to be one heck of a thrilling, chilling ride. Let's just hope we don't sink too deep into the madness.